Hello, and welcome to Songwriters Spotlight, the Western Mass Songwriters Collaborative Series. I'm Dr. Dan, your host of the show, where we feature Western Mass songwriters who perform their original songs and talk about the art of songwriting. Stay tuned to explore more about music and the tunesmithing that creates it. Our guests on this episode are Dawn Lapeer and Jeff Starnes of the duo Lefevre. Their blues songs feature great musicianship and vocals in sometimes comedic and other times deadly serious lyrics. Here's Lefevre. Yeah, we'll start out with a song that I wrote <laughs> probably 10 years back or so, maybe a little more, uh, when we were doing a, a blues competition uh, some years ago, and this one's called Sweet Tooth. Nice. Cooking's just as sweet as it can be. That pie old cooking's just as sweet as it can be. When you slice it up, baby, you gotta save a piece for me. Well, you came out swinging, but you got to realize. You came out swinging, but you got to realize. You ain't the only slugger that's fighting for this prize. No, sir. Your big bad woman got the meanest walk in town Your big bad woman got the meanest walk in town When I get that feeling I'm gonna track you like a blue tick hound Look out. I don't need a man who won't be there down the line. I don't need a man who won't be there down the line. So what you gonna say when the first is far behind? I'll say that pie old cooking's just as sweet as it can be. That pie old cooking's just as sweet as it can be. I got a sweet tooth, baby, and I sure hope there's a piece for me. That's right. do another blues song here this is another one that i wrote and it's called drought drop my knees to the bone dry ground death and dust swirling all around and not a cloud to be seen Pull my new shoes on I'm out the door and on my way All I get is a slow walk home All alone in that morning gray My first is a dog play But I'll dance in the hall It breaks all day I'm a nightlife spy I see it all without an eye on me 
gotta show better than your best And that's just not in the flesh for me So this is a song that I wrote called My Kind of Life. I don't really remember exactly when it was. Uh, oh, wait, I should know because <laughs> I have it tattooed on my arm. That's a whole nother story a few years ago. And uh, it just became a favorite. And it ended up on our first studio album that Lefevre has done in a very long time, which just came out recently. Uh, it is the title track. And here we go. Taught to rush at every turn Little girl, will you ever learn? Make your plans or go by God What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Wanna sigh when I'm tired Don't wanna hold back when I'm running wild So let that be my kind of life Let that be my kind of life With no concern, you saddled up with no return. Make your plans or go by God. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Wanna play when I'm wired? Don't wanna hold, hold back when my soul's on fire. So let that be my kind of life. Let that be my kind of life.
I'm tired Don't wanna hold back when I'm running wild I wanna play when I'm wild Don't wanna hold back when my soul's on When my soul's on, when my soul's on fire So let that be my kind of life 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 All right, this next one is called Bitter Honey. Oh, when did I want? I don't even remember when I wrote it, but uh, it's one of my songs that I always say, uh, it's not a very nice song. It's a pretty new one. It's not about me. It's not, it's not about Jeff. Uh, uh, I don't always write mean songs. This might be one of them. All right, one, two, three. I'm sorry, but I will never like you. It's a quandary we will never work through I won't believe you'll change And I don't care if you do Try again to fix yourself, it's all the same I will never like you Bitter honey, it tastes so sweet It's alright with me yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa Yeah, yeah Whoa, whoa, yeah Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah Whoa, yeah pent-up fears they set me free oh but you can't undo your helplessness so I like it here without your mess uh, bitter honey it tastes so sweet Tastes so sweet. I don't care if you care, and it's all right with me. Yeah. Whoa, 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 yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, yeah. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Another song. 
song uh, that I wrote. This one's about murder. Another song that's not very nice. It's called <laughs> Andrew and Henry. Woo, Andrew and Henry. <laughs> murder it was off like grizzly smell that mess around the whole damn city that little ellie she was young and pretty a week from a wedding lord it's such a pity they found her right outside of henry's back door they'd been lovers some years before i can't believe nobody heard the gun now she'll never marry that senator's son the neighbors hadn't seen Henry for days They sent a patrol to his parents' place They found him pulling up a fishing string Lord only knows what he did with that ray You know they put him on the hammer's docket The Lord can't bless it and his dad can't stop it Who's gonna keep him from that mortal shock? Just a two-bit lawyer in the DA's pocket. Oh, whoa, 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 cigar smoke he kneels down and he burns a note all the questions are settling down just what was she doing on the wrong side of town the next time he has a fateful fling he might even give a little la's ring his daddy's rich and his mama's pretty smell that mess around the whole damn city Oh, whoa, 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 Lawyer in the DA's pocket They got Henry on the hammer's docket The Lord can't bless it and his dad can't stop it Who's gonna keep him from that mortal shock? Just a two-bit lawyer in the DA's pocket Oh, whoa, 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 whoa Whoa, 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 whoa. So this is a song uh, from the way back in the days when we lived in Ohio, and I wrote this song, and Jeff always says, I think she wrote it about me. Is and that's, <laughs> and it's so sweet. It's called In My Mind. One, two, three. <laughs> 
Walk away a step that's all it takes An ordinary move, well that's all it takes But I, I don't know why I, I keep holding on Well, those, those bright eyes of yours I'm not so strong Cause you You're on my mind Yeah, yeah, yeah And I love what's going on in my mind Yeah, I love what's going on In my mind breath, a look that's all it takes An ordinary move, well that's all it takes But I, I don't know why I, I keep holding on Well, those, those bright eyes of yours I'm not so strong Cause you You're on my mind Yeah, yeah, yeah And I love What's going on In my mind Yeah, I love What's going on Yeah, I love What's going on Oh, I love What's going on In my mind In my mind. So this one is called Better. Don't you take this ride 
a great set guys i really enjoyed it very much the musicianship and the vocals were superb and uh you. Uh, you know i'm a blues lover so you know i was very happy and and not all your blues is you know the down and dirty stuff you had some very lighthearted stuff i enjoyed that and uh the lyrics are so interesting and uh the arrangements i love the arrangements so thank you very much for thank that thank you yeah thanks dan he so. gets to take most of the credit for those blues pieces because I don't write those. 
He does. Yeah, she's getting more familiar with blues he's music, great. though. He's yeah. a, he's she's great. learning. She's learning. <laughs> well, your songs have a blues edge to them. There's no Did question I? about yeah. that. Yeah. Wow. A few of them, definitely. I did not know this. That's yeah. okay. It's like it's not eight bar blues, but it's yeah. The blues is in there. You could hear the influence. Very nice. Very nice. So um, we have two songwriters on two. this episode. So uh, tell us, you know, when when did you start writing songs? Uh, I'm going first? Oh, okay. Well, uh, my official answer is I was making up music on a piano when I was maybe around seven. <laughs> I don't know if that counts, though. Um, and then I think I, gosh, as early as like high school, I found an old guitar that we had up in the attic mm. and started forming songs. And then one of my classmates, bless his heart, came and taught me how to actually play some stuff. And, uh, and that's where it all started. So officially things with lyrics in high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, but music is always, I've always played around and managed to make some things up. And yeah. Yeah. Easy. yeah. How about you? I get to <laughs> deliver a great line here and it's true. I started writing songs when I met Don. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, in Columbus. Amazing. I, I was uh, doing a postdoctoral position, which gives you a little more time because you really just have to research, no teaching or anything. And I wanted to use that to get back into music. I played music as an undergrad. Um, so met Dawn at an open mic and really liked her songs and asked if I could play some lead guitar while she was singing. and started writing songs from there. Oh, I guess because um, there was a really great blues alliance in Columbus. Mm. And I told Don, we should take advantage of this. They have all kinds of events. Uh, you know, we should have some blues content so, so that we can uh, tap into this community. Mm. And so I wrote some blues songs. <laughs> and they're <laughs> fabulous. And they're the blues songs that we're still playing today. Mm -hmm. And he's writing more, but... Uh, really came out of the gate like full on great music as a songwriter yeah. yeah so why do you do it uh well i i i don't know it just seemed like it was something that i always did i yeah. think i just wanted i just wanted to create something pretty when i was really young i just wanted mm -hmm. and then i thought um oh i just want to sing to this cuz it's so pretty and then I told a lot of people for years the only reason I ever played guitar was so that I had something to sing to, so I would make things up because mm -hmm. I didn't, you know, that's just how I made it happen. And now it just makes me happy. It's just part of my life. I, I just have to write music every once in a while. Yeah. So that's me. Yeah. That's my answer. I think I have two reasons. Uh, one is kind of just seeing it as a puzzle. Mm. You know, what, what would people really like? You know, what would get a reaction? What could get a laugh? What could people get into? Just trying to figure that out in mm -hmm. writing different songs and then beta testing them on audiences. And, oh, okay, that one, that one didn't go anywhere. And, oh, oh people like that one for some reason. You know, like, I, I like that aspect of it. Uh, but really, you know, now we're having a chance to play with some great people like uh, Frank Manzi and Rich Adelson. And when you get that full band, I just like that feeling, mm -hmm. you know, when you're locked in and it's grooving, I, I like to feel like that. And if I'm feeling that and I'm watching people out there grooving too, and I think this is my song. <laughs> I wrote this song mm -hmm. that those people that are out there grooving too. Yeah. I like that a lot. <laughs> I never ever think about that. <laughs> I'm just having well, fun. Well, I'm not That's singing, so, so I have time to think about all kinds of stuff. <laughs> who knows what's going through his head when he's back there playing guitar. <laughs> who, are, who are your inspirations? What songwriters? You go first on that okay, one. Fun. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Willie Dixon is a great one for I blues. Know. And what I take from Willie Dixon is have a theme, a crystal clear theme, have a hook, and keep it tight. Other than that, mm. you know, just like stick, stick around that theme. Um, and I really like Jerry Reed <laughs> for country songwriting. And what I try to take from him is a brilliant use of common language mm. and mm -hmm. um, incorporating humor into songs. I really like how, how he's able to do that. 
Yeah. Um, he was brilliant. Yeah, Willie Dixon has a little humor in his songs. Yeah, too. definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so I guess I just like funny songs. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. How about you, Dawn? Oh, I, you know, that question, I think I just like music in general, so everything's mm -hmm. an inspiration for me. I, I, you know, I know I grew up listening to certain things. I was fascinated by them. Whatever my parents had uh, in the house, Simon albums, and Garfunkel. which is what, yeah, I always say, Simon and Garfunkel, Barbara Streisand, Willie Nelson, you know, if I, if I wanted to put a, an album on, it was stuff like that in the house, and I was fascinated by all of them. And I think always when I heard other people's music, I just thought, how, how do people do this? This is amazing how mm. they've done this. So I really like hate to narrow myself down to anybody because I was into everything from like Prince to Led Zeppelin. And I, everything sort of hits me. So I don't, I don't like to like uh, single anybody out. I think it, everything, all music is really interesting to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what are your favorite topics? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any. I never think about topics. That's a Jeff question. Yeah. Jeff probably thinks about topics. Yeah, right? I know. Yeah, but I think I'm all over the place. Just like whatever I think could work. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? um, yeah, that's true. I, I guess right at the beginning, um, inspired by Dawn, I was writing a lot of powerful woman type songs. Mm. Right, like. <laughs> Uh, putting a man in his place type songs, introducing Definitely. a man to a taste of reality <laughs> <laughs> type songs. Um, Definitely. So I did do a string of those, I guess. Um, but more generally, I just like anything that I think would work, anything that I think people would get into. Mm -hmm. Mine just, I don't even know. I just start playing music and it, it just, just happens. It just happens. Yeah. yeah. So I don't. I, I don't really pinpoint. I topics. think Dawn writes to express herself a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I don't know that I've ever done that. <laughs> Maybe like oh, one yeah. song. <laughs> it's. I like your story. I think about it conceptually. Yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Like, oh, here's a concept. Let's see if we can make that into mm -hmm. a song. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What is the process that you use when you're writing? So I. Uh, yeah, so I usually write everything at the same time. I, music and words. Uh, yeah, yeah, music and words and everything comes to me sort of at the same time as soon as I find a guitar part that I really like. Um, something that's just, I don't know. Um, I don't even know how I determine if I like it. It's all sort of a mystery and I feel like it's a mm. gift. It just kind of comes all together as a package. Um, the phrasing will come, the lyrics come. And, and it's almost always something, I, I mean, I know what the song is about. It's something, I didn't know mm. I was gonna write it about that, but that's the thing, and it's usually very emotional for me. Uh, yeah, and so I've never been uh, one to write lyrics and put them to music. It doesn't feel the same to me. It feels contrived, it feels forced. Uh, so it doesn't very often work for me. Um, so Jeff and I are very, very different that way because you, really do like he is able to tell stories with his lyrics like he's brilliant at it i think i'm coming around to something closer to your method though because like i said you know i try to do concepts so when i first started writing i'd like have a full set of lyrics mm -hmm. and then think okay let's put some music to this let's find what mm -hmm. melody uh, this follows and i don't think that's the best way to do it actually and at some point I realized, you know, that nobody knows what the lyrics to songs are, right? <laughs> like famous songs. <laughs> and people are like, oh, that's my favorite song. And you're like, how does the verse start out? And they don't even know, right? <laughs> so like, okay, the lyrics must not be the most important thing. Mm. Um, so, so now I'll sort of have like a set of potential lyric ideas in a, you know, incipient form. Um, but then I'll wait for a guitar part and a melody, right? Something that I can like say nonsense words to. And it's mm -hmm. like, oh, this is perfect. I love the timing on this. I love, uh, and then I'll see if any of the concepts work with that, <laughs> right? Uh, can, I, can I use words that fit this pattern for mm -hmm. any of these mm -hmm. concepts? But I think now I'm convinced that it's the pattern that matters. Right, it's the, the, phrasing, the rhythm the and the yeah, phrasing of the melody mm -hmm. 
and then think of the words as a secondary <laughs> I have process. done that before, actually. I, I'm going to go back a little bit. But I've written lyrics, or at least ideas. Like, I, I, I'm working on the guitar part, and then I'm like, oh, this is the thing we're going to write about. And I'll write out lines of lyrics, but they are not going to fit into the music the way I've written them, right? Mm -hmm. So what happens is you're sort of looking at those words you're playing and you pick out the words that fall into the phrasing that you need to use. And it, and it does usually work out. So that's a really long answer to your question. <laughs> <laughs> the most detailed answer to your question you never want. Well, that's an important topic. And, and do you like cut words out? I mean, some people are ruthless about cutting out as many words as they can or? Oh, I've never, yeah. I don't think I've ever thought about that. It either fits in the phrase or it doesn't. I don't tend to work and work and work over mm -hmm. my songs. Um, I think Jeff is, <clears throat> between the two of us, the one that does that a lot more. He'll more editing, keep, is that? Yes. I'm an editor, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. yeah. yeah, he'll change around. Could if this he, work a little better? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if he's either by meaning or when he hears me sing it, if he feels like the way that I'm singing it, I'm having a difficult time articulating the words, or they're not getting out clearly, he'll change the word. Mm. And I'll be like, oh, I just remembered the first word, now I have to remember. <laughs> <No. laughs> but, um, but yeah, I don't, I don't generally do a lot of editing. Yeah, I like to tinker. <laughs> He's a, yes, he If does. it can be better, I want to try to make it better. Oh, good for you. Do you have, uh, what suggestions would you have for other songwriters starting out or even, you know, experienced? I feel like I don't, I don't know if I'm qualified to answer that, but I, I will say that I want people to feel comfortable being themselves, mm. doing, doing their own sound. You can clearly hear some songwriters or musicians that have a tendency to um, and some of them are brilliant at it, and it really is a talent. Um, they're able to sound like another genre or another artist. Mm. Um, but it is really amazing, amazing to me to hear someone who's so uniquely themselves and hear what they've done. I think that's, that's really inspiring to me. And then when you get to know an artist and they have a sound, we were listening to Peter Gabriel's newest album, and I was like, that is so Peter Gabriel. Mm -hmm. Like, I know his music so well that I hear him say certain words, and I'm like, yep, that's a Peter Gabriel word, and that's a Peter Gabriel effect, and yep, this sounds, this is the, the soft song on the album, this is like, here comes the flood. Like, I can, it's, oh, it's so Peter Gabriel. <laughs> and I think that's fascinating, the way people can have the same identity in music. They can mm. really be themselves, and... It's so neat. So I, I would say, you know, be be true to that. I think that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Yeah. I usually think like, what do people talk about? Mm. That must be what interests them. And if there's a way you can express that in a new way in a song, then maybe that would pull a lot of people in. Um, and you know, I think about it like you're in a conversation and you want to say something of interest, you know, what stories do you tell when you're in a conversation? And you want, you know, you want to have the floor for a little bit and entertain everyone. What remarks do you make when you're in a conversation and you want to have an impact on your listeners? Whatever those are, those are good things to write a song about because those are things that sort of intrinsically interesting and uh, <laughs> intrinsically noticeable <laughs> mm -hmm. to people. I try to think about it that way. Cool. Can we get a, a double dose of technique and, and approach? That's yeah, really. I'm yeah. just over here hoping that whatever I'm going through might might be something that somebody else has gone uh -huh. through and they feel the same way. And I think he is looking to find the most interesting thing to people and to grab people. It's really, it's really interesting how different we are. And yeah. I don't think until someone asks us these questions that we really had a full sense of how different we are mm. musically, Maybe. but work so well together. Yeah. 
Yeah. When you spend most of your time thinking about statistical inference, you can't just write a song <laughs> about what interests you. <laughs> Probably not going to work well. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much for oh. coming in and having Thanks for having us, Dan. Yeah. Appreciate we, it. We definitely want to thank you for having <laughs> us. That's, it's such an honor. It's, it's really neat to, to come here and do this. Yeah, this is fun. Thanks for watching our show. I would like to acknowledge the support of the Western Mass Songwriters Collaborative, promoting the original music scene in Western Massachusetts. If you want to learn more about the WMSC, go to their Facebook page. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Dan. I hope you'll tune in again for the show that puts a spotlight on songwriters.